in them. Young sinner got you what they bless. I like a bread of beef of the dead. A bitch is sitting play just to get wet up. Haters talking shit, but then they study every letter. I'm the first rap pick with the last lap, bitch. Yeah, I'm angry on the track, but I deserve to be. Cause all these rappers with no time don't wanna murder me. People talking shit ain't even heard of me. I went from park benches at night to first class flights. <laughs> That's what you call taking shit to new heights. Put the 750 in reverse like Benjamin Button. We've been doing it for years and they down all of a sudden. Bobby Sox are doing 120 in a Corvette. Watch your boy blow up in front of your eyes. War vet. Get a fans number five. Now they want more of it. Everybody want my album. It ain't in the stores yet. Hey, what's going on, guys? Dushog Nita here. And today we're back with yet another gameplay on the Carnage channel. This time, uh, you're not actually watching my gameplay. I am commentating for. Flawless X, flawless XX HDs, insane 72 kills, non-lethals in regular TDM. Actually, it might be multi-team TDM. I'm not too sure, but he gets 72 kills by himself, non-lethals, solo in TDM. Solo. That is just incredible. I mean, just just think about that, guys. Imagine you playing on a team. Uh, right now, I can see it's multi-team now. So imagine you and you're with two other people. And you're playing TDM, and you get all the kills. That's basically what Flawless did here. I mean, his teammates got three kills. Three freaking kills. That's like nothing. And Flawless just goes absolutely ham with his non-lethals. Only use me non-lethal. It's just, just an insane gameplay, and I hope you guys really do enjoy it. And what I want to talk about uh, a little bit is kind of impre the impressiveness of gameplay. So, this gameplay is really impressive. I mean, if you guys have ever tried to play TDM uh, solo, it's not easy to get a gameplay in it because you need you need 60... Like, a good gameplay, in my opinion, is like a double nuclear, and you need, like, 60 kills for that. So that means you have to get more kills than either five other teammates or two other teammates in multi-team, and you have to do it all by yourself. And uh, that's really hard to find teammates. Um, and that's kind of how it goes with all solo gameplays. In any really good solo gameplay... Your team, your enemies have to be really bad, but your teammates have to be even worse because your enemies in domination, like they need to be killing your teammates off the flag so the game doesn't end early and stuff like that. So that's really where solo gameplay shine is when you have enemies that are complete poop and then like your teammates are like diarrhea. It's like they're just a whole nother level of poop and it's, it's just incredible to play. I've, I've been in lobbies like this and it's incredible to watch as well. So I really hope you guys do enjoy it. It is actually the record for most kills in uh, in uh, you know 6v6 TDM. Uh, I believe the most in Ground War is 87, which is even more insane. Uh, but this is definitely by far the most kills. And not only is it 72 kills, it's 72 kills non-lethals. So he doesn't get a single kill streak kills. He gets 72 gun kills for the three gun kills that his teammates get. And that is just absolutely crazy. Uh, Floss is a good friend of mine. He's recently hit 1K like last night. So good for him. If you guys haven't subscribed, go subscribe to him already. He's an insane uh, player and a great guy. And he just posts all these great non-lethal games. And uh, something... Oh, look at that. Got knifed. That, that's just some BS with this game. But uh, if you guys didn't know already, the, they recently dropped a patch for this game, which... Um, it didn't do that much in terms of gameplay, but it, like, nerfed the machine pistols and that kind of thing, so that's, you know, it wasn't too big of a patch, but they, they really need to do something with the knife. I mean, the knife is just so, so overpowered. Like, I have a, I have a little clip where I am on a double nuclear streak with the M27. Uh, I had gotten a nuclear. I was on a 27 or 28 kill streak. I go into one of those little rooms on Meltdown, you guys know, in the middle of the map. So I, I see a guy, I, fall, I shoot him, I follow him in there, shoot him like four times. He's level seven, split screening. He jumps and knifes me in midair. Like jumps from, uh, I was so pissed off. And it was just incredibly annoying because it takes like no skill. <laughs> and he killed me off a double nuclear. Uh, as you guys know, Carnage, we're going for a bunch of these, you know, double nuclears. Uh, it's kind of not really series, but finishing it off so that we have all of them on our channel and i'm a big advocate of that i'm i'm one of the guys who's at least trying for these things the most uh in my opinion so that that was a major bummer uh but you guys will see the m27 one soon hopefully uh but i mean another thing that i, I would like to talk about uh it's not not too much pertaining to tdm but the 300 plus guys we are on the grind for the 300 plus and it is gonna happen it is most definitely gonna happen there's no doubt in my mind that 
you will see the first 300 plus right here on the carnage channel i don't know from which player we got a lot of really good guys um and a lot of great people who you know like a lot of great support people as well so i don't know just expect it here guys just just be waiting for it it will happen i can guarantee you uh we've gotten a lot of close a lot of close tries where things just go wrong or anyway it's gonna happen and you guys are gonna see it here so i think it's possible it everything has to be really good uh go really well and in my opinion those kinds of gameplays where you're like maybe spawn trapping on um ground war on like raid or something i personally i find those highly entertaining uh which goes back to what i was saying about being impressive like this gameplay is really impressive but uh at some points it can get boring to watch as you know he's playing by himself in tdm so there's no set spawns and they the teammates aren't doing jack shit basically i mean so this can kind of solo gameplays are fast paced and slow paced at different points and I think ground war gameplays are really entertaining because they can be fast paced all the time because you're always in the spawn, always in the enemy's face. So please do leave a comment below and tell us what you guys want to see because we're here to please you guys. We're pub stomping and we want to show you guys what you want to see. Or at least I do. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, Apollo does and the rest of Carnage does as well. So anyway guys, the video is wrapping up here. Gets the final kills in the last few seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was Flawless. Go subscribe to him if you haven't. And I've been Destructinator. Go subscribe to me if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.